five siblings? That's right. Between the six of us, I don't think the house has known a single day's quiet. Of course, a little chaos makes it far easier to get away with mischief. Yes, I can imagine that comes in handy. Okay, so of course, as soon as I start to uh, end the video, um, those two decide to start talking. Because of course they do. Okay. Now, welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. Last time, we got told to go... We, we got into the hearings, then we went... Then I went to the hearings and blundered in and caused my game to crash so that I had to reload. Um, then I went to a brothel to get a uh, mechanical benefit from uh, having a good time with the people around. So, And I also made food that will give me a benefit as well. Hopefully lasting through the entire um, dialogue. We'll see if that does the case or if it will cut out somewhere in the halfway point. I don't know. In any case, we are now getting ready, and I'm going to quick save here. We received word from Wayne in, that's the dozens. You would be attending, Ixiel. The balcony has just been opened just for you. And now, mm -hmm. we are going to eat. We're going to eat the casita casserole and the dragon egg omelette, which is going to make our stats a resolve and our intellect are particularly, my our resolve is rather ridiculous. Duke Avar Wolfgren. The room below is animated amidst a heated debate. All the representative groups are easily discerned in the crowd. Crucible knights stiff in their noisy armor, sit in one section, and another are well... Why would they be wearing armor in a hearing? And another are well-dressed members of House Demonel, casual, watching with predatories, predators' interest, who I've never actually talked to. Still elsewhere are the ramshackle dozens who have made no special effort to dress up for their liege lord. Interspersed are animancers in their academics robes with expressions either sour or concerned. Well then, answer me this, Master Barash. If you animancers represent our best hope to cure the legacy, what progress can you demonstrate? As I've said, it isn't about progress, it's about potential. No, it's about progress. My no, house would agree, Your Grace. We see great potential in its future. Potential for, uh, experience. Uh, abuse, I would assume, since you seem to be the criminals of this or this world. And I suppose your blazing profits during the legacy don't have nothing to do with that, do they, Domino? You can't have it both ways no more! Animancy goes, or this country goes! Oh, thank you, Morley. So you admit, Master Barask, that Animancy is no closer to stopping the legacy than it ever was. No, we've had many promising experiments. Cadman Azo has shown... Cadman Ozzo murdered a child for a complete failure. We should be hanging him right now for what he done. The dozens won't stand for it. There is no need. Master Azo recently passed the shroud, and while the experiment failed, his work... His work ah, was sabotage. Aren't you delicate from the dozens? What makes you say sabotage? All at once, the attendees turn their faces toward you, a mishmash of judgment and incredulity. Only the Duke, a wild-looking man with a scraggly beard, seems unfazed by your interruption. I met a false patient in Brackenberry Sanitarium who had tampered with Azo's machine. The fuck's that even matter? These are people who would toy with the lives of our children! Indeed. Even assuming there was sabotage, is this Animancer Azo not still accountable here? This is not the Bale Reach incident. This is a responsible scientist who was manipulated. Those who know me around here know me to be fair in judgment. Caveman Azo should be held innocent. Those who know me around here know me to be fair in judgment. Caveman Azo should be held guilty. Hmm. Okay. I can go to rational or I can go to lore. I'm going to go with lore. How can you call him responsible? You saw the state of the sanitarium. Horseshit. These animancers can't be trusted! 
Look at what happened in Heritage Hill. Our supposed protectors from Crucible Keep can't even clean up the messes Animancy leaves. Are you sure this is your delegate, Adric? She won't be for long making claims like that. Your Grace, we'd have a much easier time of it if our knights weren't so occupied trying to keep their organization from igniting a revolution on our very doorstep. Heritage Hill is blood on your hands, Justicia! You turn a blind eye and look what happens. I have been to Heritage Hill. Ah, the Crucible Knights, they have been to Heritage Hill since the quarantine. Though the Knights were unable to control the damage, it was not animancy, but an ancient machine that caused it. You've some strange taste in travels, friend. The height of your tails expands with every breath. Look me in the eye and tell me I'm a liar, Your Grace. My word is my oath. I challenge anyone here to find someone who knows different. And I am honest. I don't want to call, challenge him out, call him out on the resolve. I want to do the honest. I had heard whispers of a new delegate set to attend today's hearing. I admit that your candor was mentioned more than once. Tell us what you saw in Heritage Hill. Tyr Nonoth houses in with a machine that holds dominion over the flow of souls. It was this machine that made the district undead. Do you think that was the machine's purpose? Or just a dire side effect, kind of shudders. But then, why would the Ingwithans build such a machine at all? Even if it is as you say, we have testimony that a group of Animancers had been spending time there. Surely their tinkering had something to do with this. Their presence does not prove cause. Their tes this testimony is not evidence, it is a guess. I have reason, there is no denying they were there studying dangerous machinery they did not understand. I reason to believe they, there were others at the tower who might have done this. Animancy has many enemies. You need only look around this room to see it. You're just... you're missing the point! Everywhere there's Animancers, there's disaster! We all know what Whitewind's legacy's really about. And it ain't about some sparkling saint from Creed Ceres who's mad because he took a stroll down the wrong bridge! Ah, oh, wrong bridge indeed. It's about a bunch of so-called intellectuals fucking with the natural order while the rest of us gotta suffer for it. Is it though? Should we not take the time to reach a clear conclusion? I mean, what proof do we have? My son and daughter are buried beneath the floor of my house. We don't own no land, so that's where we lay them. My son. My wife let him slip when she was bathing him. Got water in his lungs he couldn't cough up. My daughter, we put her to bed one night, and the next morning she wasn't breathing. This hollowborn thing, it ain't ending. And it ain't ending because we still let these charlatans play God. There's your proof, you damn copper fucker! Not Enough, Adric. Lady Dominell makes a point. If it's animancy, then why do the other states that permit the practice not suffer the same fate? Who among us can say he truly understands why the legacy has taken hold here? I can. The Grieving Mother reaches towards your mind with hers. Bring order to the chaos here. I actually got it right. It was I can. I must have seen that vague, very briefly. Either that or it's just a very predictable answer. The crowd begins to mutter the sound taking a, doubt, a doubtful character. Right idea, Watcher. Taking this here by the curly ones. Don't waste your chance. Widewind's legacy is the creation of the Leaden Key. Cayman and Azo's downfall was their work, as was the Tower and Heritage Hill. They want you to do this. They want Animancy to fall. The dull mothering expands into a din of skepticism that fills the hall. I have seen them in the ruins of Air Glanfaf operating machines that disrupt the re and redirect the flow of souls. Near towns like Gilded Vale and Deerford, where the legacy is universal, as a watcher, I have heard their dead confess their plot. They are stealing the souls of the unborn. Beasts. Another lunatic at the hearing. Did you remember to lock your sanitarium before you left, Master Barask? Please, I won't... You want to see crazy. Make one... Okay. Birth invalids until your womb dries for all I care. The rest of these people... You shame your order by dismissing the truth before hearing it, madam. Ah, there we go. Scroll. The rest of these people, um, I expect better from Knight of Crucible. If he did your husband for your husband's sake, I hope he at least left a brothel unlocked. If, he, as the Duke says, no theory has more proof than the other, what is the harm in hearing one more? 
You shame your order by dismissing the truth before hearing it, madam. I expected better from a knight of the Christian. You must Christ. know, friend, that the leaden key is a mantle for small-time ruffians and children at play. I'm not saying you're a liar. Not yet. But you'd better start making sense of all this. Help us believe you. What's more likely? That the gods are destroying Deerwood for science practiced in many parts of the world, or that a group of people hates animancy and wants it suppressed? The Leaden Key is very real. They are foreigners from Adir and Raid Saras who hate Deerwood and want to see us suffer. Let's say a lord is a co cuckolded by his wife. If he tells her to stop, she'll only want her lover more. But if he spreads a rumor that her lover has just visited a brothel and acquired a pox on his loins, she'll want... she'll end it on her own. I went up to Honest Three? We all want the same thing here. We want Wayne's legacy to end. If we work together instead of arguing, we can arguing. We can stop the people who are doing this. If you know anything about me, you know this. I have never been. I have been called many things, but never a liar. An honest witness is the best piece of evidence you have in this matter. The only piece of evidence. The only piece of evidence that doesn't send your kind to the gallows. You mean? You've made an unexpected case, friend. I'll say that much. It seems we have a new possibility to consider, at the very least. How was it you came to learn all this? Rivers of the Dozen supported my search for answers. I took a... The Martyrs of the Dozens, if I could give them credit. I took a personal interest in the matter, tried... I'll give them credit. Though it would seem that not all of them were in on your investigation. Nevertheless, I am pleasantly surprised by their open-mindedness here. But these hearings are about more than Wydwin's legacy, even though that is our most pressing concern. Let's say for the moment that I were to take you at your word that our friends in Brackenberry Sanitarium and their peers bear no responsibility for this curse upon my country. I'm curious, what would you do if you were in my position? Would allow animators to continue their work. They explore questions we all wish to understand. If we'd known more, perhaps this crisis could have been averted. Animancers should be studied in Deerwood. If you don't, someone else will, and they will wield great power over you. The animancers of Deerwood have been given too long a leash. The practice should be restricted and controlled. In truth, I'm not completely confident animancy doesn't have something to do with Edwin's legacy. It would be wise to ban the practice now, at least not for now. No, because I think. Animancy is too dangerous. We were not meant to use it, and we have proven why we are unworthy. It should be outlawed. I am going to do the first one. Shakes his head. Animancers serve their own ambitions and their own purses. Giving them power is like setting a child loose in an armory. I do not trust these animancers, seeking first after gain and glory. But if they can heal our children, I would not hinder them. Very well. That is all I wish to hear. Not just from you, but from everyone. Many days we've been at this. It is time we put it to rest. I want to thank the delegations for helping me collect my thoughts. And our new delegate, who has warned us of a new possibility that must be looked into. The dozens are going to hate me now. The time has come to choose a direction for the Deerwood. I am ready to make my pronouncement. Ramir de Barash, representing the interests of Animancers in Deerwood, step forward. Your Grace. That opened. Who are you? It occurs to me now. My concerns about animancy may not outweigh its value. Uh-oh. That was Theos. Forgive me, your grace. We will accept no judgment but our own. What's he doing? <sighs> no! Avenge the Duke! No, no, wait! Well, that was... I, I did not get to this point. I've given you every chance to end this pursuit. Shall I end it for you? Another time. I am already late. Joy. Shall I, the words, shall I end it for you, ring in your ears. You find yourself gasping for breath, struggling to keep your own balance. You drop to a knee and watch as Theos, 
hurries out of the building. The world dims around you, the screams and clashing of weapons fading to silence. All that remain are the words. Shall I end it for you? Theo stands at a pulpit high above an assembly of robed onlookers. You among them, clustered around a wide circular pit carved of stone. He addresses a woman bound backward over a large iron wheel, o wheel overlooking the great stone maw. Many of the women's woman's fingers and toes are severed, and the bottoms of her feet are charred black. The skin on one side of her face looks like melted candle wax, black and red and seeping, and the angle of her back suggests a spine in ruins. Yet, for all that, her expression betrays little of her anger. I am already at peace, Grand Inquisitor. Are you? Her eyes are barely open, her words come between strangled breaths, but they are steady, unbroken. So be it. If you desire no end, you shall have none. I find you guilty of heresy. May the eternal prison bar your soul from passage, for it is beyond redemption. He nods to a hooded lieutenant who begins untying her from the wheel. Dominion of the Sleepers? You open your eyes to the beam ceiling of the palace's grand entry hall. The clangs of metal striking metal waft in the, from outside along the side the cries of the injured as you stagger to your feet. Thales is gone. Get up already. I don't see how you plan to survive your trial, Watcher, if the very sight of your enemy makes you faint like a priest in a whorehouse. Let us be out of this place before something else goes wrong. Off to one side, you hear the clink clinking rustle of chainmail and look over to see a wounded guard slump against the wall. He is trying to say something, seemingly directed at you. But at first, it is too faint to hear. He gas gathers his breath and manages to rasp out a few words. Lady Webb, she's the only... She must be told. She know, she'll know what to do. Please, find her. Tell her everything. The guard passes out and he slides to the floor still. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, do I... I still have the Battle of Yenwood Field, which is weird. Certainly. Hmm? What is Dominion of the Sleepers? Oh, I now have... What is this? Crucible of the Soul. Peers in the sleeping memories of previous lives, drawing upon their powers to enhance all of his or her attributes. That's pretty powerful. Oh. Okay, what I was worried about was things going away. Um, but apparently that's not happening. Through their sneak attack ability, rogues have the highest weapon damage output of any class. Whatever rogues hit enemies who have inflict afflictions that qualify for sneak attack, they will automatically do extra damage. Great. Certainly. Stand down. We don't want to fight you. Wish I could have. Yeah, that was a predictable end. Just to see our killed combat. I was tempted to go Easlaughter in league with the Animancers. Are you gonna. <laughs> they're not going to die. All recipes on the enchant menu use one type of gem, one type of plant, one type of creature part, and some copper. Most ingredients are used in multiple recipes. I do not like Teos. I did not expect, I did not really expect this to go easy. Um, I thought it was too much. What? Clandestine cargo? What was the task? 
I didn't even know what that was. Go on, run before they see you. Anamancer, Anamancer. Oh, I think I may have ruined my reputation with the dozens. I'll have to check my character sheet on that real quick. What do the dozens think of me? They still think of me as a hero. Odd. I think we're going to find she's dead. What was the task that I failed? Lady Webb lies still in her bed, an ornate cushion propping her back upright. The blood pooled beneath a gash in her chest is tacky and nearly dry. Shattered glass rests on the floor beneath her dangling hand. You can feel a faint aura of fading essence in your kin. Reach out for it. You make contact and are immersed in the torrent of sensory input and experience. When it calms, you find yourself in the same room, lying in a bed with a glass of brandy in your hands. Through the walls, the from the streets outside come the sounds of screams and shattering glass and the cacophony of an angry mob. You take a sip and it warms your gullet. Okay, there we go. Uh, across the room, the, op the door opens behind a patient, steady push. Into the room walks Thales, the floorboards creaking beneath deliberate steps. You wait until the last brandy has trickled down your throat before you speak. Was I was a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. You're concentrating, focusing with all your energy. It feels as though you are dry, diving into stone wall over and over. But it cracks suddenly, unexpectedly, unexpectedly, allowing the vaguest wisp of a thought to leak through. What's in Twin Elms? Did you pull that from my thoughts? I've had time to practice. Ah. Uh. He walks over to its small table and raises a half-empty brandy bottle to eye level. He seems to approve of the selection and begins to reach for an empty glass. I was saving that for someone. Pity. He replaces the... You know this is how it has to be. He replaces the brandy bottle on the table with care before approaching the bedside. He sits on the edge of the bed next to you. That's, you know how this has to be. His words come freely, yet absent of all doubt. He draws a long curved knife from his belt, smeared with fresh blood. With his left hand, he gently pins your sternum as he raises the knife in the other, its point dangling above your heart. Prove it. There he is. Thale slips the knife between your ribs and pushes it through. Layers of tissue separate with brittle, papery stiffness and blood wells up around the blade. A pulse of reflex causes you to drop your glass to the floor and you hear it shatter. The last of your strength, you take his knife in both of yours, a question radiant in your mind. For an instant, you come... That's complete to that too. You, to your great surprise, the pathway to his mind is left open to you unguarded and the answer comes. Simple, cataclysmic in its recording of your thoughts. As Lady Webb, you feel as though you have an answer you've reached for all your life, but in your own mind, her understanding lies just beyond your reach. You look at Thales with the wide eyes of someone seen for the first time and draw your last breath as a black, velvety darkness descends over you. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Anamancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. 
Animancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Animancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenberry Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the leaden key itself. Are you done? You appear to be done. Now I get to see if all my side quests are gone. Are gone. Like the Battle of the Endwood. Quest completed. The Battle of Hadrith House. The Hermit of Hadrith House. Okay, let's look at this. The Battle of Yenwood is still there. Assassin at large. Okay. Okay. Well, that is a. Dis I did not know that was going to happen. I did not see the guy entering at the end there. Uh, when I had my panic attack. Surprise. Act three. Now, what's going to happen now is I'm going to clear up some of these side missions before I continue going to Twin Elms. I am going to... Uh, the, well, I, I know one of my bounties is off in that direction anyway. I am going to go ahead and try to clear the supply and demand. I am going to try to clear the Battle of the Inwood Field and other such things. But that is for another time. Talk to you later. But, yeah. Oh, and I'm going to get to level 10 of the... Uh, of the endless paths beneath the castle. Talk to you later. Goodbye.